Welcome back to the Sweetest Lovers. My name is Sinclair and this is my sweet mate Lisa. We are running a series in which we discuss murder mysteries and conspiracies and try to get to the bottom of what really happened. In this week's episode, we're going to discuss the case of Philip Markov, better known as Boston's infamous Craigslist killer. Not to be confused with the Craigslist killers, a father and son duo who also used Craigslist to lure in victims to murder. So, Philip was actually born and raised in Sherrill, New York. He had a generally good upbringing with his father being a dentist and him getting into prestigious schools such as SUNY Albany as a pre-med student and later, later on uh, Boston University. But what went wrong in his life that he ended up killing so many people? Well, not killing, but like, you know, attacking people. Um, honestly, most people have like this tragic backstory that leads to their yeah. like, like evil upcoming, like, like their victim story. Like their parents being killed in like some tragic accident or something. Yeah. His parents got divorced. That's it. Um, so did 50% of the US. Get over it. Anyways, yes. <laughs> this man um, kidnapped and robbed about like three girls. Uh, the first name was Trisha Leffler. She was bound, gagged, and robbed at gunpoint at the Weston Copley Place Hotel in Boston. Julissa Brisman had posted an advertisement online offering massage shirt services and was found dead on April 14, 2009 at the Copley Marriott, also in Boston. Uh, Cynthia Melton, an exotic dancer offering lap dance services, was also a victim of attempted robbery in April of 2009 at the Holiday Inn Express in Warwick, Rhode Island. I didn't mention this before, but the first girl was also like, um, uh, like an escort or something yeah. of that. And that's what most of his ads uh, like consisted of. Like in like a year prior, in May of 2008, he exchanged several messages with someone who was like labeled as a transvestite, and he said he went under the he was like he used the email address. Uh. Sex addict 5385 at yahoo.com. Yes. And he would pose as like women. He, once he even <laughs> posed as a female ebony masseuse looking to serve, service uh, male clients. And uh, the character was, development. Yes. And I, I'm, and the character and, and development. And you would like, you're wondering, what, what is he getting out of this? I don't know to pay off gambling dues or something like that. Like, like this man was so smart. He was in like medical school. Exactly. You don't really need to be robbing people if like your dad's a dentist and now you're like a doctor yourself. Exactly. But this man like foolishly throw, threw away all his money at gambling and is mm -hmm. like, oh, I need to make money. I should just like rob people off Watch, Craigslist. I'd rather rob a bank than do all that. You know? Craigslist sounds like a lot of work. I don't go on Craigslist, but that sounds like doing the most. Yeah, and you would think with all this schooling, he would be smart, smarter than to kill people within the same week with two days between each. Um, so stupid. Yeah, this led police to believe that these crimes are committed by the same person, obviously. This is just like another example. I feel like in every episode, I feel like I would be so much smarter than these killers. Right? It's like, I need to remind the audience, I'm not going to kill anybody. But if I did, I wouldn't do it all in the same week. Yes. Maybe a year and a part. Maybe I would travel farther away. Like, everywhere he went was, like, within, like, yeah. 40 minute drive. Right? Yeah. And uh, with all the uh, security, camera footage, and cell phone activity, and email address, and all that stuff, it confirmed this, earning him a free ride in the cop car on April 20th. 20th. Free Uber, free Uber to the judge. Siri. Yeah, he pleaded non-guilty, even though he had a semi-automatic handgun, wrist restraints, and duct tape had all been found in his apartment. His trial was set to take place in July of 2010, um, but that was pushed to March of 2011, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it to his trial. Yes, in fact, he, he committed suicide in the most graphic way possible. Yes, yes. So please describe, because I can't even. He slit his arteries and his ankles, uh, neck and arms and all that stuff. He 
like gagged himself with a piece of cloth and then put a bag over his head and then he like put the blood he drew his fiance's name on the wall and his name on the wall and all that stuff and pictures of them were scattered all over the floor he really just hated himself and you know why it's because his fiance. <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> a couple weeks before or so, he his fiance came and was like, called off the wedding, and then two days later, she came back and was like, I'm never gonna see you again. Period. Dang. And then, then what? And Homeboy boy had nothing to live and for. And then get this: in the beginning, she was like, he is beautiful inside and out. Oh yeah, and she was like stuff. defending him at first. But then once like it became obvious, she's like, no, 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 I can't do this anymore. Oh, really? It wasn't even that long. How, how many, like what, March, April? One month. Exactly. Yeah. That was quick. Well, she gave up on him fast. And, and I feel like, I feel like, oh, yeah. also Craigslist, I think like they used to have like sex related like, uh, forums or something and they since that happened that took they took that down i don't even know who even came up with that that was not even it but i feel like there's a bunch of finding your strippers off craigslist exactly just go on the street bro bro yeah what but anyway doing the most i go on craigslist a lot and it's to be nosy there's like something <laughs> to, to be nosy <laughs> yes. Actually, all right. When I when I was younger and I was trying to, I was so desperate to work and, and and be a slave to capitalism, I would go on Craigslist and try to find gigs. And I'm so glad I didn't because I didn't know there were scams. It would be like trying to find a babysitter. You trying to find a babysitter? <laughs> You're trying to harvest my organs. But um, <laughs> um, get a load of this guy. Today there's a uh, Craigslist misconnections. And like, I try to see if someone, like someone would like post something about me. So I stop and shop, curly hair. Oh. Yes. But no one has done that yet. <laughs> well, like, I bet it would have to be like in the same area. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, so they yeah. do it by area? Yeah, they do like, like Boston, Western Mass, all that. And then they could probably- Some of them are weird though. I bet they could probably warn you about like, sus behavior on Craigslist. So that actually sounds like a smart idea. Yeah. But people are weird. They'd be like, looking for. Sometimes it's a long shot. It'd be like, um, remember having a conversation with you at a pump at a yeah. at a gas station. Yeah. What was what car was I in? Message me, like, what? bro, <laughs> that was 12 years ago. Oh anyway. My God. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, he committed suicide, so he never really got to go to his trial. But based off all the information that we were given, that we found, and all the facts. What do you think? I think he's guilty. I think he's guilty too. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Um, I just want to know what his his fiance was doing when he was doing the most. Like, how are you living double lives? She was probably supporting the family after he gave away all the money. Yeah. Well, actually, well, they weren't a family yet because they were just engaged. But she was probably living life how she was supposed to. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't blame her for wanting to call it off. If my fiance's email was sexaddict5385 at yahoo.com, I'd probably break the engagement too. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's the deal breaker, not him. No. Gagging and robbing. Because you make the robbing. email before you go on Craigslist. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So that's the first red flag right there. Yeah. Second red flag is if they use Craigslist. Hey. Hey. Red flag. <laughs> yeah. Red flags. Craigslist. It's okay. And Reddit. People on Reddit be weird. You're Craigslist on and Reddit. Reddit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people on Craigslist and Reddit be like... Where's my Pinterest homie then? Yeah. I, I love Pinterest. I... <laughs> yeah, Pinterest and Tumblr. Tumblr. Is... I've never used Tumblr. I don't know. Maybe that's a red flag too. Uh. But that's one mystery solved. Join us next week when we solve our next crime. Bow, bow, bow.